Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and today I have some breaking news from PCGS that they have uh, world's most valuable numismatic item, $48 million gold uh, physical coin submitted by Great Collections to PCGS. Boy, that, that article headline will catch you, right? I, I edited out the headline and I left out a word for you. Just so you know ahead of time, I'm going to try to play this as straight as I can, but um, you guys are all going to have strong opinions about this. I know I do. And uh, generally, I don't get too bold or bombastic. Did I say bald? I meant bold. The balding's next. Listen to the full title here. World's most valuable numismatic item, $48 million gold, 1,000 Bitcoin physical coins submitted by Great Collections to PCGS. Physical Bitcoin, huh? Okay. So <clears throat> let's talk about that a little bit. There is no such thing as physical Bitcoin. Right, this is a medallion, a gold medallion put out by a private individual. But let's go on. Let's let's read the article here. Described as a new Goliath, the gold Kaz was purchased in 2011 for only four thousand nine hundred five dollars, but its value today is staggering. Um, Irvine, California, not seen for a decade, a one ounce gold coin with the denomination of one thousand Bitcoin uh, is the world's most valuable numismatic item. Okay. Um, I don't mean to be rude. I'm looking to see who, if someone wrote the article. I don't want to be rude to anybody here. We're going to keep reading. Okay. Numismatic item. There it is. Uh, purchased in December 2011 for $4,905. It's now worth $48 million at the Bitcoin value as of Monday morning, October 4th, 2021. On behalf of an anonymous owner, Great Collections uh, has... Of, of Irvine, California, submitted the coin uh, for eh, under guard, uh, armed guards. I like that they add that under armed guard for certification to PCGS. Uh, it has been certified proof 70 deep cameo. Okay, which says it was uh, left in a desk drawer, but I guess it probably was in a container, right? It probably wasn't not in a container. Uh, this is the greatest return on investment for any numismatic item, a staggering 9,786 times the purchase price in just 10 years. It may be the world's greatest investment in that time span, stated Ian Russell, president of Great Collections. Its value eclipses classic coins, such as the 33 double eagle, eagle, eagle St. Gaudens. Bear with me, guys. I didn't write this stuff. Uh... It recently sold for $18 million at Sotheby's. The Sultan of uh, Muscat's $1,804 just sold for $7.6 million, which is a coin, a video that we did on that coin. Amazing coin, right? There's also a uh, $25 Bitcoin, it goes on to tell you, uh, from the same guy, some guy named um, Kasakius, um, that is a certified MS67 and will be offered without reserve by Great Collections um, November 14th. Bidding will start at a dollar, but we anticipate it going much higher. Okay, so uh, they got pictures of interim president Stephanie uh, Sabin and uh, Great Collections president Ian Russell holding the coin, some of that type of stuff. Only six of the 1,000 gold uh, Bitcoin Kasakius coins were made, and four of them have not been redeemed, including the one owned by Russell's client. They actually look pretty cool, by the way. Um, the gold coin is dated 2012 Kasakius. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I apologize for that. The legend of the obverse includes one troy ounce, 99 fine gold, and the motto, Virus in numerous Latin for strength in numbers. There's a multicolored tamper-resistant hologram design on the reverse. It was, in fact, the first produced by Kasakius, uh, Kasatius. Russell said that the current owner of the Bitcoin uh, is not the presumed founder of the digital currency, Bitcoin. <laughs> uh, but there have been suggestions that the founder of Bitcoin owns iconic Bitcoin items, such as these gold CAS coins. It's the ultimate 21st century collectible merging gold with cryptocurrency, uh, cultural phenomenon considering the vast number of people under 30 who own some cryptocurrency as investments, he stated. That that sentence I think is completely accurate. That's, that's, that's correct. The $48 million coin now resides in an overseas bank vault and is unlikely to be 
to ever be redeemed or ever spent as Bitcoin. Um, but you may be able to see it in person someday. Great Collections is in talks with the owners to publicly display it at upcoming coin conventions. All uh, right. So what this doesn't say is what's amazing. And then what this asserts is also amazing. First of all, this is a private issue medallion. And, you know, I was trying to understand exactly how this works. Like, why is it if it's someone just n numbered it, you know, said this is worth a thousand Bitcoin. Well, how is it worth a thousand Bitcoin? Is there somebody behind it who is promising to pay that money? Like, how is this worth Bitcoin? Right. And so, you know, the article doesn't tell you that. So I'm going to tell you that because the founder of uh, of these coins, the creator, uh, his name was Mike Caldwell of Sandy, Utah, and he created these. And they actually have this tamper proof back to it in underneath there, there is a code that redeems the actual Bitcoin. So this is why this is and how this is backed by Bitcoin, because at first I thought, well, this is worth whatever Bitcoin's worth until and unless the guy who created it says, no, I'm not going to I'm not going to back it. Right. This is going to be like Fury's money. This is going to be like anything else that. Just someone says it's backing it and then they don't take the money back in, which is what happened with a lot of the, you know, the, the Civil War tokens and stuff like that, where, where where people took them and then, you know, they tried to turn them into federal, you know, the U.S. pennies, uh, cents and whatnot, and then they weren't able to, right? So, so that's the mystery that PCGS didn't tell us about, which I wish they would have in their article, okay? But here's what's appalling to me. PCGS calling this a numismatic item is just silly. I'm sorry. It's just silly. It's the same as someone having a a stock certificate or some other type of revenue bond. I mean, like basically, it's the keys to someone's Apple stock, right? It is. It is not a coin. Certainly, I'm not saying that it can't be used as money because clearly, it may be worth forty eight million dollars on the market. Okay, fine, but it's not a numismatic item. No, no way, no, no way, no how that you should compare this to the 1804 dollar or the 1933 double eagle. It's it's more like someone having Apple stock. Big whoop you do. The fact that PCGS is is calling this a numismatic item really just kind of grates at me. And a lot of you guys who watch me have said, you know, I'll show these like I just had like a Mars coin that's really round, that's shaped like Mars and it's red, and it just ticks you off that that stuff even exists. Right. And I'm like, okay, whatever. It's cool. It's put out by the island of Nui. It's just they call it they call it currency and it's kind of fun and different. You know, you got these little chibi coins with characters on them and whatnot and Star Wars and all this stuff. Those at least have a denomination put out by a government. Right. This is not numismatic. This is not numismatic at all. And so. Um, yeah. Yeah. You guys can just see. I mean. You guys can tell me I'm wrong here, but there's nothing numismatic about this item. So, uh, PCGS, I've, I've never really reacted to one of their commentaries this way before, but it just kind of stuck in my craw that they keep calling it numismatic and referring to it as though it's a coin. When it's more realistically like a stock certificate, like if PMG took a like original Apple, thousand shares of Apple, you know, whatever the first stock is and you know, and you had it framed and it's worth, it hasn't been redeemed. And you could, if you could still redeem it and the stock had split six times. So now it's worth, you know, millions and millions of dollars. That's what this is. It's not a coin and it's certainly not numismatic. So, all right, guys, I got fired up on this one. So thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can leave your comments down below and let me know what you think of uh, this Cassis Bitcoin coin numismatic item. Thanks for watching.